A messy inbox isn't just overwhelming, it's costing you time and opportunities. Maybe you miss an important client email buried under a pile of newsletters, or maybe you just spent an hour reading and replying to things that just don't move your business forward. Or maybe you're just distracted all day because your inbox keeps pulling you back in. Well, if you can't control your inbox, unfortunately, your inbox is going to control you. That's why in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put your inbox management on autopilot using the right strategy and AI powered automation tool so that you can focus on the emails that matter right now. To do this, we're gonna follow the inbox zero methodology, which helps to keep your inbox as close to zero as possible at all times. Yes, this can be done. And no, I'm not gonna ask you to sift through hundreds of emails that you currently have sitting in your inbox. We're actually gonna use a tool called Sanebox that's gonna do it all for you. And it's how I managed to get my inbox from looking like this to this. Let's jump in and I'll show you how it all works. So first you can set up Sanebox in just a few minutes and it works with any email system you already use. So Gmail, Outlook, Apple, really anything. And there's nothing to install and it automatically works across all your devices. So click the link down below and you can get started for free. And because Sanebox is sponsoring this video, they're giving you a $25 credit towards your Sanebox subscription. So that means that you actually get four months of Sanebox for free. So just click the link and let's say you want to set up Gmail, just click the Google icon here, sign in with Gmail, and you just have to give it the permissions and Samebox will start setting up automatically. So what Samebox does is it automatically implements a lot of the Inbox Zero principles for you. So the whole idea behind Inbox Zero is to keep your inbox as close to zero as possible so that you can stay focused. So it's not that your emails magically reply to themselves or just disappear. It's more about keeping your inbox as a working space for your most important emails that you need to respond to right now, rather than a holding area for every single email you have from spammy junk to that super important client email. It's like if you're sitting at your desk and you're trying to work on something really important, it's better to have a clean workstation with just the thing you're working on rather than a messy one filled with clutter and maybe dirty dishes and papers piled up everywhere. So Inbox Zero has been around for a while and in the past you had to be a really organized and disciplined person in order to do it. But now with Sanebox, a lot of this is gonna be done for you automatically and I'll show you how each of the features work. So after getting the same box, when you open your email inbox, you might notice that you are missing a ton of emails and you might get a little scared, but don't worry, Sanebox actually did some amazing things for you. So first of all, all of those newsletters you signed up for that you don't even remember signing up for and all kinds of promotional emails cluttering up your inbox, well, Sanebox threw all of those into its own folder called Sane News. And you can see all of these Sane folders and I'll go through a lot of them. And so now all of those newsletters letters and promotional emails are organized in one place. So when you have some downtime, you can easily skim them and see if there are any worth reading. The worst thing you can do is just try and read those emails when they come in and let them sort of take your brain power away. That's not a good idea. And let's say you find one, you're like, you know what? I actually want to drag this into my inbox. I wish this got into my inbox. Well, you could just drag it to your inbox and now Sanebox will move it to your inbox and it'll create a rule that reminds itself that this kind of email should be in your inbox. So that's how easy it is to train Sanebox as well. So the next folder Sanebox created is Sane Later, and here's where it houses emails that it feels aren't as important. And usually I find it's a lot of app updates or sort of administrative updates or things of that nature, as you can see here, that are not mission critical, that aren't direct communications with a person. So Sanebox does a good job of organizing those things there. So when you're ready, you can easily skim them all and decide, is there anything I need to action in here? And just like with Sane News, you could just drag it out if you found one where Sanebox didn't categorize it correctly. So with just these two features, Sanebox is already removing the clutter from your inbox and helping you focus on the more important emails. And even though you might have a number of important emails, maybe not every important email needs to be dealt with today. And that's where these Sane reminder folders come in. And so what these Sane folders do is if you drag an email into say Sane tomorrow, then that email disappears from your inbox and magically will pop back in tomorrow morning into your inbox. So as you go through your emails, you can quickly scan and say, ah, I don't need to reply to that this week. In fact, let me throw that into say next week. 
and then next week on Monday, it'll pop back in. So this way you can keep track of the emails you really need to respond to today. And what's awesome is you can even create custom snooze folders. So say for example, you wanna defer some emails to the evening, then you could go in here and create evening emails and then it'll pop it back in after 5 p.m. or whatever rule you set or time period you want. Now, another feature that helps you keep your inbox to just the things you're working on is the reminders feature. So let's say you have this email right here and you need to respond to it, but you need some more information, you're researching something, or maybe you're waiting on someone to get you some information. So what you can do is you can actually forward this to yourself with a reminder. So just say, same box, and I wanna be reminded in one week at 9 a.m. And then when you send this email, same box will remind you in one week at 9 a.m. and it'll pop that email right back into your inbox. And so then you could drag that into a folder like hold, for example, or whatever your workflow is waiting for a response or whatever you wanna create your own custom workflows here. But you could drag it in there knowing that a week from now, it'll just pop back in your inbox. And another cool feature here is let's say you're actually replying to an email and you wanna remind yourself to follow up. You could say same box one day at 9 a.m. And so when you send this email, Sanebox will pop this email back into your inbox tomorrow as a reminder so you know to follow up. So that's a little handy feature if you want to remind yourself to follow up and have it pop into your inbox. Now I showed you the same later in the same news folders, but you can actually create your own smart folders for other use cases. So for example, I've created receipts and reports here and I actually have Sanebox automatically throw all of the reports I get in here and my receipts in here and it happens automatically. So those receipts and reports now don't come to my inbox and I can review them all when I'm ready. Now we all hate spam and that's why this is one of my favorite features. Sane black hole, whenever you drag something in here, that person's never gonna be able to email you period, point blank. You don't have to report them as spam. You don't have to figure out how to unsubscribe, nothing. So for example, some random fertility clinic has been emailing me. I don't live in Australia <laughs> and I don't need these fertility treatments, but they just kept on emailing me. So now when I drag it in here, they will never be able to email me again. I'll never see it, it doesn't matter. So that's an awesome feature when you just don't have time to unsubscribe. And honestly, sometimes when you try and unsubscribe, you get hit with pop-ups and all kinds of things and it can be these shady spammer sites that they want you to try and unsubscribe. So this is just way better. And one other really cool feature Sanebox has is a email deep clean. And you can just basically just set a date where you don't want the emails anymore and it can just find all the emails. It lets you review them and you can trash them all. And that's a good way to really clean up your inbox. If you have years and years of emails that you haven't dealt with and you just wanna clean up your inbox, well, it's a really good feature. So that's how easy it is to achieve inbox zero with Sanebox. Between the custom folders you set up and the pre-built folders, Sanebox will automatically file away all the less important emails so that you can look at them later and you can focus on the ones that matter today. Then every day, all you need to do is look at all the remaining emails in your inbox and drag the ones that you're gonna deal with tomorrow or another day into the appropriate reminder snooze folders. Or you could use the reminders feature and these emails will then just pop back into your inbox when it's the right time to respond to them. And here's the thing, inbox zero is a catchy term, but the whole point really isn't to obsess over getting your inbox to zero, like some sort of weird badge of honor. The point is you need to keep your inbox manageable so you can focus on the things that matter today and that you don't miss critical time sensitive opportunities. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more automation and AI tools that can help you be more productive. Now I went through Sanebox's features pretty quickly, but if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to set everything up in Sanebox, check out this video right here.